Oh, thanks, Max. I'm one of your favorites. That's really cool. Thank you. That means a lot to me, actually. I'm glad you enjoyed my live streams. I'm just trying to play like a video game and, you know, trying to get you guys entertained and keep you guys entertained. I don't know. But I really appreciate your kind words, Max. You're a real nice person. And he's a picnicker. My lunch filled us up. So, will you battle us for some exercise? Now, the thing is, with Pokemon battles, you're not doing much running. You're just, like, shouting and, like, moving around a bit. Maybe, like, not so fast. Like, I don't know how a Pokemon battle, like, you're just standing there, basically, giving commands in your sprite. So, would that just mean you're just, um, you're welcome, Max. Would that just mean you, like, just stand there and not moving around? Because if you want to get exercise, you want to move around, of course. But I won't question that logic actually anymore it's whatever it's what you do what you gotta do picnicker and slash okay so when he killed it nice okay we got this meow just slash on this thing it's gonna do screech to lower our defense stat or lower our phoebe's defense stat two stages or so we could take down the other Meowth. And there's two more in the Pokemon. There's two other Pokemon. Okay. Uh, let's use Giga Drain on this Pikachu. We can use Thunderbolt, which won't be very effective because it's a Phoebe's half grass type. So, but that did a lot less than I expected, too. That's awesome. The Giga Drain hits. It hits Pikachu. Let's see how much it does. Uh, red health. Okay, cool. And we'll go for the, I know I might get hurt by static, or paralyzed by static for, for doing this move, but I gotta take down this Pikachu. Yeah, I knew it, static was gonna happen. You think you might win? Okay, that's cool. Good job, Max. You gotta believe in yourself. And then there's also one more Pokemon, a Clefairy. Let's just slash on this thing. Cosmic power, cosmic power. And Phoebe's paralyzed, okay. Come on, Phoebe, I got you to, you gotta just believe in yourself. You gotta believe that you can fight the paralysis. There you go. Wait, okay, I might as well just switch out that. We did a lot less than I expected. Um, let's switch out to, switch out to Arcanine, I guess. Alpha, 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 Alpha. And yeah, there we go. So, Defense Curl, nice. Nice. And let's use, uh, switch these moves actually. Um, flame throw, I guess. What does invasionist mean? Oh, um, flag minimize right there. Uh, invasionist, I don't even know how to pronounce it, so it's, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. But it basically, if you raise your invasionist, that means it's, uh, if you rate, well, if you raise your invasiveness, like if you use minimize, it makes it so like it's harder to hit you as the your, your Pokemon. But if you try to lower someone else's invasiveness, it means the opposite, where it's easier to hit their Pokemon. If that makes any sense, I hope I explained that somewhat decently. So there we go. Nice. There's a bunch of smashable rocks. Uh, do I still have a Pokemon? I think I do. But let me just double check. I really don't want to win the bottom encounter. It's like, yes, the one goes from earlier. Okay, so let's actually switch up our Pokemon. Let's put... Let's put our elf up front, actually. There we go. I might as well get rid of the paralysis on Phoebe, too, just in case. So, yeah. Full heals right here. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry I've been struggling with this gym, Max. I mean... Like, I don't know what to say. I mean, I feel super bad for you because, you know, I don't like I don't like this gym how it's like holding you back from the rest of your adventure of your Pokemon game and save file. I mean, it's very frustrating. I'm sorry that you have to go, th that you're just going through all the stuff, you know, with not being able to beat the gym and all. So I, uh, I'm just, I just feel bad for you, man. I just feel bad. Okay, let's use uh, Flamethrower on this Nidorino. I should one hit KO it, I hope. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, one hit KO it, nice. I've been on this gym for a week. 
Oh my gosh, you poor thing. I feel so bad for you. Like, if I could help you, I would. Because, like, wait, can you tell me, like, what level your Pokemon are and, like, what gym it is exactly that you're struggling on? Because I still don't know if it's either Kogar or Sabrina. Because I always face Sabrina 5th and Pokemon 5 in the green. And even the original games. And I always face Koga 6 when it's supposed to be Koga then Sabrina. But I always just face Sabrina first because Team Rocket's already taken over Sylph. After I beat them at Sylph, I get the Master Ball and I can take on Sabrina. That way I don't have to go out down Second Road or down south of, of um, uh, Fuj not Fuchsia, but um, Vermilion City and Lavender Town. Because those are extra routes I want to go. I don't have to go through right away to get to a badge that... Because, like, you can actually do the badge out of order, which is what I always do. Koga. Uh, what, what, um, game exactly is it? Is, like, is it Fire Red and Leaf, or Leaf Green, or is it, like, Red, Blue, Yellow, Green? Because, um, there's differences, because Pokemon Yellow has different, uh, Koga has different Pokemon in Pokemon Yellow than, like, Red, Blue, and Green. Or if it's Fire Red and Leaf Green, he has, like, a, I think he has a Muck, a, muck, a um, Coughing, and a Weezing, or something, and something else, maybe a Coughing. Two coughings, a wheezing, and a muck, or something like that. Leaf green. So, do you have any psychic type Pokemon, or any Pokemon that can learn psychic? Uh, TM29 psychic that you get from Mr. Psychic in Saffron City. That's the most bottom right house in the city layout. Yeah, the same way as the Pokemon Center in Saffron City. I don't know. Because that really helps if you can have a Pokemon that can learn psychic. And it doesn't even necessarily have to be a, you know, a, um, psychic type Pokemon. It can be, I know Clefairy can win psychic. Like, in my playthrough of Pokemon Yellow that I got for my 3DS, I beat it today, actually, with catching Mewtwo. But I had psychic, um, on Clefairy, because that's the only Pokemon that could actually win psychic, because I didn't have an Alkazam or Mr. Mime, you know? What if we is level 34 and Tichuga level 33? Um... So, Doug Trio, if it uses Dig or any other ground type move and against the coughing or wheezing, I believe that they both have Levitate ability, which makes them so where they can't have, um, they can't get hit by ground type moves, basically. And I'm gonna use Flamethrower, I guess, on the Sand Slash. But yeah, and then, but if we can win Psychic, I guess that makes sense. So, you kinda just have to be, um,. I guess you could teach Psychic to Butterfree or something like that. And then hopefully you can, you know, take down his coughings easily. Because that's always a good thing if you can take down the coughings. But his wheezing and his muck, that's just a different story. I mean, they're, they're, they're real hard to take down. I understand that. Okay, let's take this thing down with a flamethrower, I guess. Hopefully flamethrower will knock it out. But yeah, I'm sorry, I just don't know. Oh, oh you have Psybeam on your, um, but if that's cool, that's also a good psychic type move. Um, uh, make sure you have plenty of antidotes, because, like, Koga can really poison up your Pokemon with, like, Toxic, especially, because it's badly poison. With the Toxic badly poison, it can, like, be, um, it does more, um, hurt, you hurt more from poison if you're badly poisoned after every turn. It gets worse and worse, which is not good. Once you're using it on your opponent, of course, then it's good. Um, so yeah. So Koga's really hard. I mean, it's understandable. Koga's a hard gym leader. He is. So, I don't know. Maybe those couple things will help you out, but... I don't know. I'm gonna go switch to Phoebe and see if I can take down this uh, fighter girl with um, just a race on my Phoebe. This isn't a day in which we don't. There isn't a day in, in which we don't train. That's the good. You have exactly zero. Um, zero what? Um, I'm gonna keep it that simple. Uh, let's see, I'll just air race, I guess. High jump kick, that's gonna hurt. Okay, didn't do much, okay. That's good. Yeah, I almost want to KO'd it, nice. Let's get his focus energy to try to raise his chance of a critical hit. Okay. The 
Draco, PB grid level 41, and Pokemon money. Oh, I see a Pokemon in some place. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, let's see here. Just Alias, I guess. Wait, Phoebe's are level four, already level 41. I didn't know that. I thought Phoebe was still level 40. Oh, well. Critical hit, yes. Nice. Yeah. I'm sorry that you, you don't have any Pug at all in money. I mean... You, you could, um... Consider raising a Mr. Mime. That Mr. Mime's great in Pokemon Leaf Green and Fire Red. Uh, but I know that takes time too. And you have to trade an Abra to get it. And an Abra, you, you can get Abra easily in the game corner for like 200 to 300 coins. But then again, you have like, you said you had zero Poké Dollar money, so. Yeah. I don't know. I honestly just don't know. I'm sorry that you're struggling so bad against Koga. I just feel bad. Let's go to Fumi, I guess, and then let's switch Chelsea with that. Yeah, there we go. With, uh, Chelsea with the Phoebe, of course. And then here's a swimmer, dude. So you can talk to him. I took a break from swimming. I only have only to have you challenge me. Sure, we can have a Pokemon battle if you're in, if you're up for it. Apparently, up for it because we're already in the battle sequence. So yeah. Swimmer Garrett, Shelter. Okay, I'm gonna try out Dual Pick. There we go. Nice. You spend all your yeah money on tokens to get Dratini, yeah. Because yeah, Dratini is a really good Pokemon type in the game, and Leaf Green and Fire Red, so that's understandable. Yeah. Here's Coyster. Drill pack, I guess. Drill pack again. It's just areas this time. This thing's so bulky. I mean, it's taking me so many tyrants to faint, try to faint this um, Coyster. Good thing Supersonic's missing. I don't have to deal with confusion even though I could just take use the yellow flute, you know? Okay. We got a war turtle here. You might watch a movie and train, that's okay. Max, I understand if you wanna leave to go do that. I mean, it's okay. It's all good. Defeat some with Garrett, nice. And here we go, we can go all the way down here and surf and we can get an item, I believe, so let's do that. There we go. What's the item? It's a Max or Pelt. Very worth picking up, I should say. I like, this, I like the sound of you just having your f f running on the beach near the water. It makes that click, 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 click sound. I can't, I can't really say it. I can't really, you know, I don't know it by heart and what it sounds like. I'm not really good sound of, I can't really do good with sound effects. Um, let's switch with, um, Thunder, I guess. Cause, uh, yeah, this is a fighting type, uh, double battle. And I don't want Chelsea to faint. <coughs> Because, um, she's a normal type and stuff, and she's weak to fighting type moves. So that's the only reason I switched out for uh, the second slot for this double battle. So there's a primary bit of a choke. That's cool. Let's go for the drill pick on my choke and the uh, thunderbolt on the choke as well. There we go, the Thunderbolt hits, and yeah. 
and goes to the drill pack hits. Awesome. So the Machoke will go down. Excuse, okay, Prime is going to use Focus Energy to try to erase its chance of getting a critical hit soon. The next couple turns, but we just do the same thing. The same moves, but on the Primate this time. Good level 41, awesome. And we defeated the but the the fighters, yeah. I should say the fighters. I think it's level 1872 uh Poké dollars. You gonna watch the movie, Max? That's okay. Oh, th that's okay, Max. Have fun watching your movie. Thanks for stopping by again, coming back. I really do appreciate that. That's really cool. I, I, I'm just glad I could keep you entertained. That's what I really want, is just to entertain people with my live streams. So let's see you later, Max. And let's see here. Let's just, um...